several fire agencies battle a blaze for hours in Latham. The fire leaving an elderly couple homeless. Thanks for joining us. I'm Lindsay Hess. The fire today in Latham quickly grew out of control and caused the village to run out of water. News Channel 20's Matt Wickos is here now with the challenges firefighters faced. Matt. Lindsay, the couple has lived in this building for decades. This building was more than a home for them. Now they're left picking up the pieces. It's just sad to see all that go. A Latham couple loses their home after a fire starts in their attic on Macon Street. It's just hard to watch it all go up and fire. The couple's daughter-in-law, Brenda Deal, says she and her family made a lot of memories in this building. They once owned a grocery store on the bottom floor. There's a lot of things up there that are stored in that building that belong to my kids that when they were little, things that my husband has built. It wasn't just a couple who lost everything in the blaze. Deal had a nonprofit where she made overnight bags for children going into foster care. A lot of our stuff is gone. A lot of our clothes and, and pajamas and that were still stored in there that we couldn't get to. The cause of the fire is still under investigation. Fire Chief Kenny Crozier says the flames were out of control and several agencies were called in to help. Latham's water system's not the best in the world. We ran out of water, so we had to start bringing water from other towns, and we're still doing that as we speak. We got to go to Niantic and Mount Pulaski to get water. So that's our biggest downfall. Crozier says the building is a total loss and will be demolished. Because it's too far gone. It's too dangerous to go inside. We'll just take it one day at a time. That's all we can do. Deal says her in-laws will be staying at her house for now. American Red Cross was on scene to aid this family in relief efforts. Lindsay. Thank you.